Hello, welcome to this new host of our video. My name's Alex. Today we're going to be looking at link aggregation in Unify, so it's lag. Um, so first of all, what is link aggregation? So this is a, a way of combining two Ethernet ports together or SFP ports as well. Um, so you can have uh, either great improve redundancy or improve capacity as well. So in this uh, guide, on this uh, example here on the blog post, and um, we've got two switch, two Unify switches that are being linked together with two uh, Ethernet cables. So I've got port 2 going to port 1 on the switch and port 4 going to port 3 on the switch. Uh, and this, this example wouldn't actually work because the ports have to be sequential order on the switch. So it would have to be like this second example here. So port 2 to port 2 and port 3 to port 3. As I mentioned before, you can combine two kip, two ports together for increased increased throughput and also increased redundancy as well. So if one cable gets unplugged or breaks, you've got a failover port as well. And then the, the capacity uh, point as well, um, you can get two gigabits per second full duplex. And then with lag enabled, you can get four gigabits per second full duplex as well. So as I mentioned, ports need to be in the sequential order. Uh, so five, six, and seven uh, would be together. And then you can also um, do SFP ports as well if you need to. So we're now going to look at how to enable link aggregation within Unify. Um, so in this example here, I've got two Unify 8 150 watt switches. Uh, I'm going to go through and complete the steps in this guide. So I'm logged into my Unify controller that's hosted at Hostify. Uh, I've got a few devices here. I've got a UXG Pro, AC Lite, and two US8150 switches. So this switch is got an uplink to the other switch. And then this one here has got a link to the second switch, SFP back to the UXG Pro, and then it's powering the AP as well. So what I'm going to do is aggregate together three and four on both switches. So three, three to three, and four to four. So first thing you do is go to the port manager, and then I want to go down to port three here. I'm going to put down to US eight one fifty watt. And then same port profile, and I'm going to change the operation here to aggregate. aggregate. Then what it's going to say is port 3 is the first port, and I can select port 4. So we can apply that now. What's going to go through the adoption process of Unify, the provisioning process. And you'll see in a minute that the both ports here will change to this symbol here for aggregate. So it's got ready, it's finished. So I've got now here port 3 and 4 uh, linked together. So I'm going to do exactly the same on this second switch now. So port manager. I'm going to go port 3. Link to US-8-150 watt. Switching and then aggregate port 3 to port 4. And then apply. Once that's done its thing, I'm going to go and change the cables over and plug port 3 to 3 and port 4 to 4. A little longer than a few minutes later. So I've plugged the cables in and you can see that on the first switch, or the, the second switch down, sorry, um, you've got port 3 and 4 that are linked together. And it says that port 3 is downlinking to that other switch. And then port 3 is, ag is being aggregated for port 4. And exactly the same on the up sw upstream switch as well. So if I want to add any more ports to that aggregation, I can add them um, within editing by editing port 3 because port 4 is now um, un uneditable. And you can see here that the US8150 is linked together there. So This isn't strictly limited to Unify. You can uh, Aggregation is a, uh, a proper standard. So if you've got a uh, edge switch um, on the second switch or a Cisco switch or anything, as long as it supports the standard of aggregation you'll be able to do that properly uh, we've also got a video coming up that shows you how to aggregate a switch a usb switch with a unify switch um so they they work together fine it's just a, a normal networking standard there shouldn't be any problem with that so that's how you do link aggregation within unify uh, or lag as it's called uh, the link to this uh, knowledge base article will be found below uh, in the description of this youtube video and then also, if you need to get in contact with anyone at Hostify for support reasons, you contact support at hostify.com or using the live chat button in any of our website uh, 
articles or the main website. Okay, thank you for watching this Host to Five video. My name's Alex, and we'll see you again next time.